I'm really sorry about Grandpa Allen. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Michael. And I can't tell you how pleased I am that you were here right now. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Very sorry. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Please. So. Losing a spouse is one of the most difficult things we ever have to do. Yours is compounded by literally trying to save Alan's life. Remember, his heart failed him, not you. I'm so sorry, Dr. Courtney. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. Please. I, uh, I admired Alan so much. As a doctor and a man, you'll be really missed. If there's anything I can do. Thank you. Thank you, Noah. Tracy, uh, Mr. Quartermain, I am so sorry. But you know, Alan had a very special place in his heart for you, young lady. The feeling was very mutual. <laughs> I wish I knew him longer. Well, thank you both for coming. If you want, you can go on in. Thank you. Oh, the order's wrong. What? The drinking needs to come before the service. I don't, uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I need something to bolster me. Not another step. There is no way I'm gonna allow the two people that are responsible for my brother's death to crash his memorial service. Alan was a complicated man. He didn't fit easily into categories. He was a man with many virtues and also many flaws. I guess that made him human. At the hospital, he was a compassionate doctor, a respected chief of staff, and a big show off at the nurse's ball. <laughs> And at home, he was an exasperating brother, a cantankerous and rebellious son, a three ways father, frustrated, adopted, surrogate, and he was a grandfather, although he wasn't as involved as he would have liked. And he was a husband who drove his wife to distraction. And I'm being kind. He was a man who wore a lot of hats. A lot of egos and emotions he would juggle. But Alan was a master because there was one thing that he could do better than anybody. And that he understood better than anybody. And that was the complexities of love. 